Hi, today's video we're going to look at uh, how I've implemented this RPM um, sensor into the uh, uh, CNC machine and how it uh, how it works, etc. I've got the schematic for you, which parts I've used um, and how it's put together. Uh, we can go through the schematic, as I said, in, the, in a short while. Um, and I'll just point out a few of the things on the machine here first, and then uh, we'll go... Uh, over to the PC to have a look at the schematic. Um, I'll put all the links to the parts below where I can. Um, some parts are pretty generic and you can find them very easily by searching for them. Um, and uh, the uh, the code that you need for the Arduino to run, um, I'll put a link to as well. Um, by all means, download it, try it. Um, just uh, accept that uh, you know, there's no warranties uh, assured with uh, with anything that you do. Wire up yourself or put the code in, etc. But uh, yeah, if you if you want to make use of it, uh, please do. Um, so yeah, it's just a generic infrared uh, proximity sensor, um, and it's literally just looking for the proximity of this um, fan on here. And you'll notice as it comes round, there's a black section on the fan which initially I just used insulation tape but at high RPMs that uh, has a habit of flying off um, so this is now just been painted I just masked a section off spray painted it black and uh, put it back on and it's uh, it's absolutely fine and you can see um, at the moment the the LED there there's a power LED and another LED that just shows that it's got proximity and when I rotate this into the black section you'll see that um, LED go off and then as it comes back into the silver, you'll see the LED come on. And we just adjust this little potentiometer here just to get that working correctly. So, yeah, we just got this on and off thing on here. And that's it, effectively. Every time that LED comes on uh, or goes off, it just puts positive onto the output wire, which goes down this um, old USB cable that I've used here, which I'll show you why I've used a, a USB cable in a second. Um, um, to the back to an Arduino, which is in this device here. Um, and um, I'll just move this around a little bit so you can see, uh, perhaps a bit better, but uh, we've got a USB power lead coming down. It's just plugged in by a micro USB or a mini USB, depends which Arduino board you use and then there's just a mini um, OLED uh, display on here. The actual rotary thing is completely separate so that's just connected back to the power supply for the spindle. So as we turn the spindle on and the spindle starts to rotate um, it reads off this. So basically the, the way the system works is every one revolution of the spindle over here um, creates a pulse and that pulse is picked up by the RPM sensor and then it's simply times by 60 to uh, to give you the RPM value. So we measure it over one second and then times it by 60 to make it into one minute so it's RPM uh, in there. There are more complicated ways of doing it um, but this is quite simple. It means that everything is in base 60 um, and 60 is kind of the resolution or the lowest resolution it can go to. But when we're talking about um, 10,000 RPM, um, we're, we're way more than accurate for what we need. It's only an indicator of where we're up to. Uh, and that's basically how the system works. So I'll, I'll flip it around now and show you uh, in the back of this unit and uh, why I've used uh, an old USB cable um, to connect this up. Okay, so the screen just slides in the top here, um, in through this little slot in this 3D printed part that I've made, um, and uh, obviously displays through the window. And I've just used a couple of blobs of hot melt uh, adhesive in here. Sorry about the focus; it's a little, just a little bit off, um, but just a little bit of uh, hot melt on the top here, just to uh, just to help it to uh, keep it in position when it's going. You can see the actual Arduino. Um, Pro Micro that I've used is down under here um, and there's just a little uh, clamp, plastic clamp at the back holding it in position and then the USB port of the Pro Micro just comes out the side here which is where it gets its power for the whole system. Okay so we move on to the back of it now the reason I use this um, USB cable here is two, two things one is it's quite a convenient nice way of wrapping all the wires together um, and I've just used a couple of DuPont connectors on either end 
uh, to uh, to make the connection to the uh, uh, to the Arduino board, and then um, this routing goes right behind this power supply, um, which by the way is unplugged at the moment for safety reasons. Um, but it goes right behind this power supply, which puts out a lot of electrical noise. Um, and without the shielding that you get with these USB cables or with other shielded cables, um, it does cause a problem. Um, even even the routing from here up over to the spindle on the wires um, causes some problems uh, on its own. So even if I just wired it to there and then sort of ran the cables m miles around to come round to here, um, avoiding this box, then even running them up in this area here is a problem if i simply just ran them from the sensor over here round the front somehow um, down to here then um, then it works okay uh, but uh, yeah we want it to be nice and convenient and inside the the um, the wrap that goes to the spindle head anyway with all the other wires so just using a usb old usb cable was uh, was more than good enough for that purpose so that's all that we can show you. I can show you on the machine. Uh, we'll just go over to the PC now and I'll show you uh, the schematic for how it's connected. It's uh, quite a simple um, simple connection system and we'll, we'll have a look on the schematic. So here we are on the um, schematic now. Uh, we'll start over on the left with the infrared sensor board. Um, it's a pretty generic board, as we said earlier. It's uh, you can find these everywhere, all over Amazon, eBay, uh, AliExpress, Banggood, etc. Um, it's a three-wire connection, so we just need five volts from the Pro Micro um, and ground or negative um, from the Pro Micro, and then the green wire, the important one, which is the uh, output wire, which is pulsed, and that goes to pin seven on the Arduino. You can use any Arduino board. I just use the Pro Micro. I happen to have some around, um, but you could use a Nano. You know, etc. Any of them would be fine on there. Um, the positive and the ground connections also go up to the screen, um, just to give that power. And then the screen is on what's known as I2C uh, connection type. So we've got two wire connection, which is SCL and SDA, and they go down to pins two and three on the Pro Micro, as shown on here. Um, you do need to download the I2C library into the uh, Arduino. Um, IDE software or the software on your PC but uh, uh, it's fairly straightforward there's loads and loads of tutorials on how to do that so I'm not going to cover that here um, but yeah uh, and then the power comes from the USB connection that's plugged in uh, to the Pro Micro itself to power it all and it's completely standalone from the rest of the system so it just reports the RPM as it's uh, as and when it happens you could make this into a portable device as well and handheld uh, and use it that way well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> again, some more useful information, hopefully, that uh, you can use. As I said at the beginning, we'll have all the uh, links, as much as links as I can put in uh, down below. And uh, happy CNC. -ing. See you next time. Bye.